More than one year since Roe versus Wade was overturned, the pro-life movement still has a lot of work ahead when it comes to changing hearts and minds. One pro-life organization converged onto Capitol Hill this week with the mission to educate lawmakers. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. Good evening. Pro-life organizations I spoke with say that the only way to bring change is through education and legislation. I recently caught up with the folks at Human Coalition who held a seminar lobbying lawmakers and staff in this post-Roe era. It's time to uh, uh, be prayerful but also take a stand publicly for the values that we have for life and, um, and let people know once again whose side you're on. Others stress the need to support services like adoption and pregnancy care centers. Uh, we have to put our money where our mouth is, be able to stand, and our actions. We have to be willing to foster and adopt. We have to be willing to deal with the root causes and to help assist families. The Hyde Amendment, which blocks the use of taxpayer funds for abortions, has been part of congressional spending bills for 40 years. Pro-Life Caucus Chair Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith tells me Democrats agreed to include it in this year's spending bills as well. Well, the Hyde Amendment is incredibly important, and I know with the appropriation bills on the Senate side, it's secure. So we just have to, you know, as any other piece of legislation, we have to usher that through there and make sure that those protections stay there. We have to fight for our vision of the future, a future where getting the birth control that you need is as simple and easy as picking up Advil or Tylenol at the pharmacy. Democrats are trying to keep the abortion issue front and center, leading to the 2024 presidential election. As for the abortion pill, mefepristone, both the DOJ and the pill's manufacturer asked the Supreme Court to overturn a lower court's ruling that would limit access to the drug, setting the stage for a possible high court ruling. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops has issued recommendations for building a culture of life after Roe. They encourage pro-life Americans to make their voices heard through law, policy, politics and culture and provide mothers, children and families in need with care and support. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.